I conducted a short survey among my exec MBA students last week, asking them about uh, the biggest challenges they face or they see their companies facing in the upcoming 12 months. Not a big surprise, AI was on top of these challenges. It's uh, you know all, almost an under-exaggeration that uh, there is a bit of a hype around open AI. But hold on for a moment, take a deep breath and ask yourself four questions before you jump right into this. Because not every company will go, is going to benefit from this trend. Question number one, ask yourself whether you will actually generate any advantage by being deep into this AI game. Not every company will. You know, we have seen that uh, in the more recent hype around uh, platforms, ongoing actually, where only 15% of all platforms are successful in the longer run. Question number two, can you capture that value too? Just think back to the dot-com bubble in the early 2000s. Uh, everyone needed to have a website, but just because you had a website did not mean that you actually gain any advantage from that. Question number tr uh, three, are you able to lock in this advantage? Are you able to deploy AI in a very unique way that is hard to replicate for your competitors? Uh, typically, you know, we think about things like scale, Coca-Cola, uh, scale prevents others to, uh, to copy them. Or we think about things like experience, uh, think, you know, Hermes uh, ability uh, in craftsmanship that is really, really hard to replicate. Uh, in the AI game, when we think about OpenAI, the company at the very core of this current trend, uh, it is probably less technology itself. Interface is fantastic, technology probably others have better, but it's primarily this partnership that they have with Microsoft that can help them to scale and lock in an advantage, I think. And the last question you need to ask yourself is, uh, how is this going to play out in the long run? Are you able to uh, maybe come up with a second round of uh, innovation? We used to talk about sustainable competitive advantage, but that's harder and harder. It's probably more likely that we have a series of temporary advantages that you can achieve these days. You know, think about uh, Meta's ability to reinvent uh, itself again and again around new ideas, uh, Facebook first, but Instagram more, more recently. These sort of, you know, second round uh, innovations will be necessary. And if you don't have that capacity, you're not going to be that strong. So think carefully before jumping into AI and whether there is actually a advantage for you. It looks like you should invest, but not true for everyone.